I wasn't expecting company, but if you stay out of the shrubs and flower beds, you can stay. Give them a wave, Pops, now that you've invited them in. We're two old guys who enjoy playing sandbox and survival games together. I'm Uncle Craig. Go ahead and sit down. Let's visit for a while. Once at the Black Hall, getting to the rest of the halls is fairly easy. We'll go through portals to do that. Let's see, I got my rested buff, probably from earlier, so it's a 17-minute buff. We have somebody outside that's uninvited, so we'll go take care of him. Oh, yeah, I got a few of them. I'll still try to take them on hand-to-hand -hand here. Not sure how well I'll do. But we want to discourage neighbors from just coming over uninvited. Yep, I missed my block there. There we go. Well, that's not going to go very well. Oh, I see, I have problem is I don't have enough food in me. Let's take a little snack. Time out. Let's let my health come up a little bit. Let my stamina boost up. Get in blocking mode. I want to block this guy. That's a guy I want to block. Let's see here. Time you time the block just right. You press the right, hold down the right key to block, and then just as they strike, I I press it to to uh, stun them, put them off balance. So that's what that big ching sound is, like that. And then if you stun them, your next hit is stronger. So bare knuckle brawling there. All right. So now that we took care of the uh, local hoodlums, let's go do what we actually came in today to do, and that is check out the getting to the Swamp Hall. So after the Black Forest, the next place you want to go is the Swamp Hall. Let me show you on the map. So we are right here at the Black Hall. The Swamp Hall really isn't far away. It's just right over here. Uh, it is actually right near the next boss. And so that's what we're gonna, where we're going to do. We're going to portal over there just for expediency, though it isn't that far of a run. It's pretty quick. You can see the whole map here. It's pretty pretty big. All right, so let's go through the portal. And again, uh, as a reminder, here's how we do that. It's this one's labeled Black Hall. If I change the tag to Swamp Hall, which is the tag for the portal in that hall, they'll connect. Now, while they're connected, no other portals can be set to link to either of these. So currently transportation to the Black Hall and the Swamp Hall is blocked. So before I jump in though, if I change this back to Black Hall, it'll give me a second remaining connected to the Swamp Hall before the name change takes. And I can tell the name change worked because now that we're entering here I don't hear a portal sound. If they were still connected, I would hear the portal sound. You can see this one is tagged Swamp Hall. So that's how we get around uh, in this world. Now the Swamp Hall is gloomy partly because it's in the swamp also because of the construction. It's a little tight with the the stone blocks. We don't have as much available to us here at the beginning of the time in the swamp so this is how we ended up with construction here. And we don't have a lot of light because nobody's been in here for a while. Uh, it's a similar size, uh, in fact probably the same size except one level higher uh, as the black hall, but again we have the stone construction which makes it so we can build up a little bit higher. Here on the main floor you got the still, pops still, the fermenter. And uh, again we have workbenches at all four corners, but we also have stone cutters positioned around so that we can repair the stonework. Let's see if there's anything that needs to be repaired right now. Yep, yeah, you can hear it there. The wooden stuff. Uh, everything else seems okay. So I'll go around and repair as I go. Our Our server has a mod that when you go around and repair, it'll repair in an area, not just a single item. Now I'm also going to put on some headgear, my blue light, so I don't have to turn the lights on everywhere. Adds a little bit of mystery to the Swamp Paul too. So here's our front door. Don't advise going out there unless you are truly prepared. We are sitting on top of another little dungeon area. We just serendipitously ended up right on top of a uh, crypt. And so I'll go down in there for a moment. This is a sunken crypt. It is empty. 
So you can go around here and pick up the yellow mushrooms that are around. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, go in here and store some treasures or some items that you want to keep safe. You can put them down under there. <clears throat> and to your left here, or to this other end, there's the other stone cutter on this end, and then you have, oh, an artisan table. That shouldn't be here. I'm actually going to take this down. That's for the next biome. Again, we try to keep each biome um, specific to the things that are appropriate for that biome and before. So Swamp would not contain that. Now here we've got chests. Some of them still have items in them, I think. Uh, this one had charcoal? No. Huh. There's nothing in any of these chests. There should be a couple that have things in them. And I'm kind of surprised they don't. And part of the problem is I think charcoal's being dumped out there. So we'll go out and pick up the charcoal here in a minute. Here's the forge for this, and it's leveled up to the highest that it can be at the, at the time. And the workbench, the same thing. We've leveled it up as high as you could in the swamp. Uh, these chests over here are for um, items that are appropriate for the workbench. This set of chests is for those things that are appropriate for the workbench and the forge, and then over here are some things that are only appropriate for the forge. And then any other items you have, they go wherever you can kind of tuck them away. Now we did build a ladder right back here, a couple ladders side by side, and this is one way up. Another way up is closer to where we entered in. There's a set of stairs right here that you can go up to get up here. And this is our cooking area. Uh, we also, I mean, we have some of the uh, ads for the forge are up here, so they're kind of out of the way from down below. Uh, here, of course, where we keep butte parries. Not many people use those. Not sure why. Is there anything in there? Oh, I thought we had stuff in there. Huh. Anyway, and uh, cooked foods up here. That's empty. We must have taken everything out of here. But uh, these are all for food items, so you put the food items in there. And then if you walk around this corner, it's the safest way. And then up here, you can do your cooking in the cook pot. That again is upgraded appropriately for the swamp. And uh, plenty of cook stations. And then you also have a large cook station back there. And then over here, past the table and around the corner, once it's lit up. Let me see if I can light these torches here. Yeah. This will look a little legal. So here you have your throne. It's the first time we had a throne available to us. So we have one here. Uh, so that is the swamp hall. Oh, should probably show you a couple more things. We'll go down the stairs over here. And out the back door, you'll see we've got little farming areas. We've got yellow mushrooms that we grow here. And we've got turnips, says it's going to, uh, seed turnips is going to be ready in about 15 minutes. And then we have actual turnips, they'll be ready in about the same amount of time. There's a, a stone cutter out here so we can repair stuff that's out here. And uh, here's the outside of the hall. So it's open air, uh, which means that sometimes you can get a wraith flying in there and visiting unexpectedly. So be on the lookout for that. Um, let's go around the outside here real briefly because there are a couple things to note out there. I'm not going to armor up. I think I'll be okay unless we get like an abomination or something that pops up. Alright, <clears throat> so around the corner here to this side you have an ab uh, obliterator I think is what it is. Why isn't it? There it is. Obliterator. Yeah, and you can put things in here and then trigger it and when you do it will uh, destroy them and turn them into coal so it's one way you can get coal from stuff that you just have so much of that you can't can't stand it uh, right over there in the background you can see that's where bone mass will spawn if you got the appropriate uh, sacrifice and um, just repairing things as you go here's that coal I said was dropping out so here's the kiln that's out here and then right next to it we have again uh, is it two? No, we have one smelter. Oh, and somebody, see, somebody built this here 
and this shouldn't be here. So I'm going to take this down. Ah! That's right, so I've got to build artisan table. I'm missing wood. I can get wood pretty easily. Let's, uh, let's see. How much more wood do I need? I think I only need a few more pieces. I don't want to take down any of my construction here. There's an ancient tree though. So we'll take this out. With my luck I'll get attacked by a wraith. So we'll see if we can pull this off anyway. Get a little bit of wood. Again we try to uh, follow the spirit of the server and keep things level appropriate, but sometimes people get a little eager and want to construct things earlier than that, but we'll set this down here and that will allow us then I think to take this down and we'll pick up all the parts from that. What do we got down there? Uh, coal, yeah. We'll, we'll put the coal in a chest here soon and I'm going to be very burdened here so I'm hoping that uh, I don't have any room. Let's throw out the rocks. Uh oh! That's not a sound I like, especially when I'm burdened. Here, hang on. Ah! Uh, yeah, you guys will see me struggle here a minute. I'm going to put my belt on it's just so I can get out of the way of that guy for a minute. Let's go handle these guys. So let me get suited up. Alright. Let him take a swing. Oop, he didn't hit me. Little blobs. Alright. Good grief. Uninvited guests. What a pain. And uh, let's put coal. I think we were putting it right here if I don't miss my guess. And so that should then show up in there from now on. Uh, the iron I can't carry with me. What I'm going to do, and this will show you another little trick in the game, you cannot transport, that's why the little symbols there, you can't transport through the portals, iron. I could use some iron over in the mountain, in the mountain hall, but if you look here, uh, the mountain hall is way the heck over here. That's a long trip to take without a portal. You can see I have a carve here, I could hop into that and make the trip. But an easier way to do it is to, because of some mods we have on the server, which I'll kind of go through those at a later time in detail, but we're going to go ahead and make nails. So we'll make a bunch of iron nails. Uh, yeah, it's not going to let us do it right now because I've got too much stuff here. Let me see what I can drop for the moment. Let's drop that for the moment. And um, let me make more nails again. So I didn't have, you need an empty slot in here. Uh, to make things and the first nails I made took up the last slot so I need to make another empty slot in order to get this to work. So you'll see soon I won't have any iron over here but I will have uh, plenty of nails. I think I'll have a hundred nails. Yep. <clears throat> okay so now I can pick up those entrails which are where? Right there. Yuck. Uh, and then there's some more stuff out there for me to pick up. All right. You notice it's seven o'clock in the morning. Anywhere else on the map, uh, it would be bright and shining, but in the swamp, it is never bright and shining. Off in the distance, there you see a certling spawner. Certlings produce these cores here, certling cores, that are used for a lot of different things. Kilns, furnaces, also for creating portals. So I don't know if it's a form of energy or what it is, but that's used for those. All right, so I think we got everything. Let's go to the portal here. So we're going to go back to the black hall, type in black hall, let it connect, then set it back to the name of this portal, which is, uh, whoop, misspelled it there, swamp hall. And we'll be right back to the black forest. And that is, uh, that's your little journey uh, through to the Swamp Hall. So uh, have fun. Uh, play nice, everybody. And uh, we'll see you when you come in.
Like, subscriber, get off my lawn.